for the kingdom of Venice. That day was filled with immense sorrow, because the prince, who the people revered, was nearing his end. Mother, Prince Amado, so scary! <laughs> Don't be afraid, my dear. The wizards will help the prince return to normal soon. When I escape, I'll destroy all of you! Yes! The prince was unaware that his time was running out. Yes! Prince, please forgive us. Our purest energy in this world. Please stop. Don't hurt him. Uh, please purify the body being possessed by evil. <gasps> Amido, don't be afraid. I will save you. Uh, I will surely avenge. Amido, please don't leave me! It's you who have harmed my Amido! <sighs> Goddess, please calm down and listen to our explanation! <sighs> Stop it! I don't want to hear your deceitful excuses! Forgive us! We never wanted to harm the Prince! Since the prince has turned into a demon, the wizards have no other choice. Please spare them. If he would become a demon, he has helped you all so much. Ugh. Why would you be cruel to him? When you were starving on the brink of death, he had a kind heart to help you. When your child was seriously ill, beyond cure, he braved the dangers and searched high mountains for medicine. Without him, your child might not be alive today. Each of you owes him gratitude at least once. Why do you treat him like this? You only think of yourselves and are turning his kind heart into ashes. How can you be so heartless? And here is the punishment for you all. At this moment, Goddess Nemesis was engulfed in flames of hatred, turning all the innocent people into puppets. Yet this didn't satisfy her. Herod, the prince who turned my Amido into a demon, is hiding in the royal castle. I will make him pay a multiplied price. Nemesis, please calm down. You don't understand the despair of losing the one you love. Do you think Amado would be happy for your revenge? I don't care. I just want to punish those who made him suffer. I want to find justice for him. seeking justice. It's committing a crime, and you will pay for it. Let me go! I did nothing wrong! You stay here until you realize your mistakes. Chief Archangel, I hate you! I will never forgive you! When the hatred within you dissipates, you'll be free. Monster Hotel is a large and mysterious hotel in the Kingdom of Venice. Here, the operations are unlike any other hotel, as the guests are all wandering souls. They will stay at the hotel for seven days before moving on to the other world. Who is this? The hotel owner is Nemesis, extremely beautiful and stern and difficult. She has been connected with the mysterious Monster Hotel for almost 100 years. <laughs> I really want to set foot there once to meet the mistress of the hotel and admire her beauty. <laughs> My 
fortune is only this much. I hope you understand. It's my tree this time. I hope you enjoy. Your noodles are excellent. Thank you. I will surely make you wish come true to repay you. I was just boasting. Albert is the owner of a charity <laughs> restaurant where his customers are poor laborers and homeless people. He hopes to use his kindness to make the world a less harsh place. Although he can't help everyone, he wants to help as many people as possible. At the end of the day, Albert closes the restaurant and returns home, only to encounter a strange occurrence. Hey, cat! Stop right there! Give me back the keys! <sighs> You're out of options now, good kitty. Surrender! <laughs> Kind-hearted do you remember me? You? You are? Let me go! What are you planning? I want to help you get to Monster Hotel! Oh no! Great! He's away! <laughs> You've been unconscious for a week! We were so worried! <laughs> Only you! I'm not worried! Hmm. <laughs> you should eat something. <laughs> Thank you, but may I ask where I am? And who are you? You're at Monster Hotel, and I'm the owner of this hotel. And I am John, the butler of Monster Hotel. He's granted my foolish wish. Can you help me return to the normal world? I'm also surprised by your presence here, as the living cannot set foot in this place. The hotel has a gate leading to the outside world, but it has been sealed by the chief archangel to imprison me. Unless the shackles on my body are removed, Otherwise, the door will remain closed forever. How do we break the shackles? <laughs> John, take care of him. <clears throat> John, surely you know how to leave this place. I don't want to spend my whole life here. I still have to continue my mission, which is to help the needy. <gasps> You're truly kind-hearted, making me feel touched. In the past, Nemesis was a mighty goddess, respected for her extraordinary feats. But now, she is just a prisoner, wearing heavy shackles to pay for her sins. Only when she receives 1,000 five-star ratings from customers will she be freed. But with the poor service, she only gets one star, or hmm. even no stars at all. If Nemesis gets 1,000 five-star ratings, she'll be freed, and so will you. All right, I'll set us free. Good morning, Nemesis. Huh. I will satisfy 1,000 customers to get them to rate the hotel five stars. Then both of us will be free. <gasps> I don't need freedom. I don't want to see others happy. I will make you change. What a nuisance! <gasps> I'm about to return to the afterlife. Please give me a meal. Just one meal. Hmm? This is all we can offer you. I don't want these. I want a warm meal. When alive, I was homeless, doing lowly jobs, 
scavenging for survival, I always had to eat leftovers, dirty water, never had a decent meal. <laughs> This is the best meal the hotel has to offer. I apologize. Hmm, you're really unreasonable. I will personally cook her a good meal. However, the spices and ingredients of Monster Hotel are extremely limited. I won't give in. The poor people are waiting for me. Albert, you better give up. With these ingredients, you won't be able to cook anything. Don't underestimate me. The image of him cooking passionately resembles Amido. <laughs> Nemesis, be careful. <laughs> Although Amido was a respected prince, his wish was to leave the palace and travel around, <laughs> cooking delicious meals for the poor. The knife is too dull! If the knife is dull, then sharpen it, don't force it. You're trying to belittle me. You are indeed a third-rate chef. Perhaps behind that cold exterior is a warm heart. I believe I can touch her. From vegetables, flour, and limited spices, Albert successfully created beautifully colored pastries. The homeless girl was extremely happy and gave Monster Hell its first five-star rating. Oh. I'm not a third-rate chef, you know. <gasps> In the following days, Monster Hotel became bustling <gasps> with a heated <laughs> argument between Nemesis and Albert. Nemesis still resisted Albert and made things difficult for him. But Albert never stopped trying. Albert's determination eventually made Nemesis surrender, often reluctantly helping him. <laughs> Thank you so much! It's nothing. I can't feel for him. I only love Amido. Nemesis isn't evil. She's just trying to deny the goodness in her heart. After many difficulties, Monster Hotel finally received 999 hmm. five-star ratings, <laughs> and there was only one last customer hmm. left. I think it's time to say goodbye to Nemesis, so I want to cook her a meal myself. Do you know what her favorite dish is? I believe it's noodles. It's a Amado's favorite, the person Nemesis loves deeply. No problem, noodles are also my speciality. I invite the esteemed Lady oh. Nemesis. Today, I'll personally cook a top-notch bowl of noodles. Please, come and enjoy. <gasps> Nemesis, today, I'll personally cook you the finest noodles. <laughs> Nemesis, is that you? The 100th guest had appeared, an old man of 100 years. He was the one Nemesis had been waiting for. You're still as beautiful as ever. Do you remember me? Hirod, how could I forget you? You're the one who made my Amido leave forever. The reason I didn't serve my customers well, endured imprisonment here for a hundred years, was to wait for you to appear for revenge. I'm sorry, Nemesis. It's all because I loved you too much. But Amido is your brother! Why did you harm him? <clears throat> In the past, Herod was a mighty warrior who defeated countless demons, <laughs> deeply in love with Nemesis but not reciprocated. <clears throat> ah! 
lab is beautiful. If I gave it to Nemesis, would she like it? It's useless. In her heart, there's only a Mado. Just shine the lamp on a Mado. He will become ugly, making Nemesis frightened and leave. Mm. Out of blind love, Herod followed the lamp's instructions. <sighs> With this ugly appearance, Nemesis won't love you anymore, Amido. <sighs> Amido was controlled by dark powers, losing consciousness, ravaging the kingdom. In the end, Amido was killed by mages, and Herod was imprisoned for life. Nemesis, why do you have that? For a hundred years, every night it reminded me of Amido's unjust departure, of your cruelty, and my revenge mission. In the past, Amido used this lamp to destroy the capital. When he was caught, he still held the lamp tightly. Nemesis thought it was a memento of her lover. So when Amido disappeared, she hugged the lamp crying in pain. After that, the lamp followed Nemesis back to the hotel. Get rid of that lamp, Nemesis. It's very dangerous. You use this lamp to harm Amido. So today I will use it to destroy you, to turn your soul into dust, unable to reincarnate into another life. John, please take Albert away quickly, because when I completely turn into a demon, I will lose all consciousness. I don't want to harm you all. And when Herod is defeated, it's also the moment my soul is burnt by the shackles, when the shackles will disappear and the gate to the human world will be open. Albert, by then, you will be free. Mm. Nemesis, I love you. I don't want you to die. Albert, you're really foolish. The one I love is only Amido. Even if you don't love me, I don't want you to die. Albert, don't <laughs> resist. You're not my match. Even if I'm nothing, I still want to protect the one I love. Albert, please forget about me and live well. Stop it, Nemesis. Albert, how can you do that? Nemesis, break these annoying noodles. I can't. This noodle dance is known only by Amido. Albert, why can you do it? Sir, sir, what are you trying to do? I just want to help you. And Nemesis too. I love her deeply. Albert is the reincarnation of a Mado. A Mado has been reborn. <laughs> no matter which life he's in, he still loves you, Nemesis. A Mado doesn't want you to become evil. Herod also paid the price by being imprisoned for life. Nemesis, it's time for you to free yourself. Don't tie yourself up in hatred anymore. Nemesis, you still haven't given up on turning yourself into a demon. I don't want you to see me in that ugly form. Amido, Nemesis, be happy. Nemesis forgave Heron, <laughs> and he gave her a five-star rating. Nemesis was free. Here are your noodles, everyone. Enjoy your meal. I wonder how Monster Hotel is doing now. John, the new owner, will manage the hotel well. Everyone will eventually have a happy ending. And so will we. <laughs> hmm. A beautiful dress cannot conceal a selfish soul. And a powerful weapon huh? cannot turn huh? you into a warrior. Huh? <laughs> Everyone huh? must nurture and train themselves. The story of Celestia is no different. Be careful, Celestia! <laughs> 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 
Celestia's father was a close servant to the king in the magic castle. Sir Anthony often brought her to the castle to play. Your Majesty, I apologize. Mm. <laughs> to make amends, press the subscribe button for Wall Fairy Tale right now. The king was also delighted mm. to have Celestia as a friend to his daughter, <laughs> Princess Celine. Celine knew Celestia was her age, so she was even friendlier and more open. She led Celestia to where everyone was practicing magic. I wish I had one like that too. However, the closer they became, the more self-conscious Celestia felt. Whenever the servants served Celestia, as per the princess's orders, they often showed disdain. I'm so sorry! On the 18th birthday of Celestia and Celine, the king specially organized for both of them. Happy birthday, princess! Woohoo! Huh? Mm. Come on, make a wish! <laughs> and here is a gift for both of you! <laughs> there were three magic wands. The first one was the Wand of Light, simple in appearance, not flashy at all. The second one was the Wand of Fire, quite beautiful, and the last one was the unicorn wand, intricately engraved and very eye-catching. <laughs> Choose the wand you like, my children. <laughs> Princess, huh? choose the unicorn wand. <laughs> huh? But Celine chose the wand of light, the least outstanding of them all. <laughs> I feel I'm not capable enough to possess the other ones. Hmm. Huh? Then I'll take the unicorn wand. <laughs> Celestia had longed for a wand, and now it had become a reality, <laughs> even better than expected. Hmm. Celestia <laughs> excitedly waved the wand, causing it to cast a spell that knocked down a section of the wall. If you're not skilled, don't use that wand recklessly. Huh? Uh? <sighs> Make the wand suitable for you. <laughs> don't chase its power, or it will control you. Every day, Celestia went to the magic castle to study and train with Princess Celine. <laughs> Seeing the princess using her wand way quite skilled, everyone praised her. Celestia only knew how to tightly hold her wand like a piece of wood. During Celestia and the princess's picnic, they inadvertently disturbed a forest demon. <laughs> towards them, as if to devour them all. Celestia quickly tried to control her unicorn wand, but it wouldn't listen to her. Celine huh? swung her wand of light directly into the demon's eyes. Celine quickly leapt up and used her wand to defeat the demon, making it disappear instantly. Everyone breathed a sigh of relief, and they all praised Celine's great skill. She understood and mastered the power of the wand, making it obey her. <laughs> Meanwhile, Celestia could only look at her unicorn wand in frustration. <sighs> Celestia took her wand home and threw it into a corner. I shouldn't have accepted this gift. <laughs> 
you to serve to be the owner of this wand. Huh? She was the spirit of the oh, unicorn the wand. Color. Celestia's eyes sparkled as if some invisible power had entered her mind. <laughs> no one will ever be able to mock me again. <laughs> First, Celestia decided to transform her poor appearance. She swapped Princess Celine's new dress with her old ugly one. When Celine received the dress, she saw that the old dress was ugly and completely different from the sketch that she had drawn. What is this? It suits me perfectly. <laughs> you look beautiful, my mistress. <laughs> the next day, Celestia went to the castle wearing Celine's clothes, looking lovely with makeup. My dress! How dare you steal it? Don't accuse me! Do you have any evidence that I stole it? Celine, <laughs> frustrated, couldn't speak and walked away. I can't believe Celestia would say such hurtful things! <laughs> the power of the unicorn wand turned Celestia into a different person. Father, take the precious pearl in the king's room to make us richer, and no one will look down on us. I can't do that. The king has been kind to us. I would rather be poor than betray him. <clears throat> that night, Celestia broke into the king's room on her own. She tiptoed towards the precious gem. But the gem was too powerful, and Celestia couldn't touch it. In her confusion, Celestia considered taking a daring action. But then, she heard footsteps, and quickly ran away. Catch the intruder! <coughs> no need, I'm fine. Celine felt puzzled, but still had the intention of finding the intruder. I almost harmed the king! You did well. You don't need to blame yourself. The next day, Celestia went to the castle as if nothing had happened. After the training, I have seen your efforts. Celine, you make me proud as the wielder of the Wand of Light. As for Celestia, you're also diligent. However, this wand is not easy to absorb energy from, so you still need more training. Show him your ability, Celestia. <laughs> Celestia huh? suddenly aimed her wand and cast a spell at Celine. You had your chance, but you didn't learn. When you stole the gem from my room, huh? I thought you were momentarily overwhelmed, so I huh? let it slide. I can't believe you're the one who did it! Exposed, <laughs> Celestia huh? had to take a risky move. Both ones faced off against each other. Her growing hatred made Celestia succumb to yeah. darkness. And Celestia pushed her unicorn wand to the limit, causing Celine's wand to break in half. <laughs> Celestia lost control of herself. She could no longer distinguish right from wrong. Huh? Snap out of it, Celestia! Huh? Don't lose yourself, my child. Poverty is not a sin. It's only the lack of determination that deserves condemnation. <laughs> she struggled to break free from the unicorn's influence. The spirit had possessed Celestia's body. <laughs> Celestia! Huh? Celestia! You were originally a kind-hearted person! Don't let evil tarnish your soul! Celestia recalled the moments of poverty, but happiness. <laughs> Get out of my body! <laughs> the Unicorn Queen was expelled from Celestia's body. Without me, the wand is useless. <laughs> I will create power for this wand on my own. Celestia rushed forward to use her wand to defeat the Unicorn Queen. 
She had discovered the true power of the wand. Strength, integrity, kindness. Celestia restored Celine's wand of light. <laughs> I'm sorry, Father. I was wrong. Now I understand that what truly matters is what suits us and brings real value. Mm. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I was too selfish and shallow. <laughs> That's a lesson for you. Not everything beautiful on the outside is good. And not everything ugly is useless. It all depends on how we use it. <laughs> With all misunderstanding resolved, they all lived happily ever after in the magic castle. Angela and Agatha, the twin sisters born between an angel and a demon. So our hair has two colors, half angel, half demon. Sister, huh? I don't want to go. Don't leave me. Agatha? Where are you, Agatha? Agatha! Due to their parents' separation, Angela often dreamt like this. From that day onwards, she lived with her mother, Nora, in heaven. Mom, on enrollment day today, will you come with me? No, dear. I'm working the night shift, and I don't want to see your father. <sighs> Angels and demons, when they reach adulthood, have to enroll as a milestone of maturity. Ooh. Next! Oh, Angela, isn't it? Is your mother here? Oh, no. Well, then, if she meets her ex-husband, it'll be so troublesome. Today was also an opportunity for Angela to find her demon sister. Where our father is isn't your concern, is it? Agatha, this... <gasps> Who? <gasps> My sister! <laughs> it had been a long time since they met, hmm. since their family separated. They chatted into the late night. Father said they broke up because angels and demons don't <gasps> match. Mom sadly said the same. Do you think... It's our fault that they separated? We're hmm. so alike. If we switch places, no one would even notice, right? Let's switch. I'll show Mom the good side of demons. You show Dad the good side of angels. Then they'll see each other as not bad at all. They'll come back together. Hmm. Agatha quickly changed clothes and wings with her sister, while Angela was still hesitating. Sister, remember this one. Huh? The demoness Lucifer. I suspect she has feelings for Dad. Mark my words, I'll go to hell to beat her soon. Oh really? This little girl? Agatha ascended to heaven with the identity hmm. of the angel. <gasps> Why does Angela look so elegant all of a sudden? Normally she is quite shy. Hmm. <gasps> you look exceptionally beautiful today. Let's hang out. Get lost. <laughs> Hmm. Agatha was happy because she was about to meet her mother, but Nora was indifferent and extremely <laughs> tired. <gasps> the demon girl had to learn the ways of the angels, helping and guiding others to do good. Hmm. <gasps> what are you doing, Angela? You're an angel, not a demon, right? Uh, yes, I'm an angel. Of hmm. course, Agatha hmm. couldn't adapt immediately to her new job. Why endure bullying when you can seek revenge? Huh? Hmm? Right, I can't endure it anymore! I must seek revenge! <gasps> Angela! <gasps> hmm. Oh, heavenly beings, please turn his heart towards me! Huh. Absolutely not! Love should be confessed! Angela? <gasps> don't behave like that! Are you sure you're not a demon? I am. If you don't like it, tough. <gasps> Thanks to Agatha, Nora's work became much smoother. <laughs> the people Agatha helped learned to stand on their own. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> 
Nora's mother reluctantly mm. accepted this new approach. Mm. The demon girl began to understand her mother's strength. As she struggled to support the family and protect Agatha when she was criticized by other angels. Your demon ways aren't that bad. Your determination reminds me of your father. <laughs> As for Angela, she was overwhelmed by the demon realm. <laughs> What are you doing here? Hmm. You're still standing here, and the work is piling up. Father? Father? Yes, I'm coming back. The angel <laughs> couldn't get used to the demon's job, capturing hmm. and punishing yeah. sinful what? souls. Hmm. What are you playing at? Are you an angel or a demon? I, I'm sorry, Father. <laughs> Angela was also afraid of her father, Ellis. He was cold, emotionless. <laughs> And cruel due to his brutal nature. <gasps> oh no! Spare me! Please go away! <laughs> Are you scared? If you don't do bad things anymore, you'll be forgiven. Promise? Huh? Hmm. The angel was very gentle. She chose to empathize <gasps> instead of being ruthless to the souls. <gasps> hmm. Despite being scolded by Ellis a lot, he was actually caring. But his demon nature was inherently stern and cold. And when he saw that the souls helped by Angela were willing to turn good. You're gentle, almost like an angel. Nothing like me at all. Your actions remind me of your mother. The twin sisters met again, but... <laughs> Isn't that Lucifer and Father? <laughs> Follow them. Why does this place look so romantic? Why does Father <laughs> look so happy? I've never seen him like this before. <gasps> they must be dating. She has feelings for Father. We have to break it up. Don't even think about seducing our Father. <laughs> Oh, did someone drop some coins? <laughs> Who? <gasps> Is it you in the bushes? Come out now! Huh. I can't reveal my identity. <gasps> Father, how could you cling to this woman and... I just look like a girl, actually. I'm a man. I'm not blind! <gasps> Lucifer is my friend. He's about to meet his girlfriend. So, I showed him this place, where I first met your mother, understand? You got it wrong, oh heavens! Huh? But, I think this plan is brilliant! The two sisters plotted to reunite their parents in the Garden of Eden, to mend their relationship. It's almost time, Mom. Slow down. I don't know why. I'm so tired. Surprise! Surprise! Laura? Angela? <laughs> Agatha? <laughs> Something was wrong. The space around them started to tremble when Nora approached Ellis. And boom! An explosion rocked the entire Garden of Eden. The energy released from the explosion triggered suppressed memories in both sisters. They used to be weak because being a mix of an angel and a demon was unnatural. Alice and Nora had used an ancient spell to save the two sisters. In return, the unstable angel and demon energy within them became even more unpredictable, and it would self-destruct when they were close. The parents had to separate from that moment on. So that's why Mom and Dad kept us apart. They were afraid we would blame ourselves. Why? Why did they miss each other? It's useless. I can't do anything. Father, father. 
father, it's impossible. <laughs> a magical aura appeared when Angela touched Alice. No? Nora? My energy is naturally balanced between angel and demon. I can eliminate the instability in mom and dad. Angela immediately transferred her energy to her demon father, while Agatha did the same for her angel mother. Slowly, their parents began to regain consciousness. The two sisters weakened, but they were determined to see it through. Sister Angela, Agatha... Holding hands, their energies merged into a powerful unified force. and saved their entire family. Mom and Dad! It had been a long time. The four of them were finally reunited. From that day on, their family lived happily. Wait, Lucifer? I thought you were going out with your girlfriend today. She dumped me after the explosion earlier. Oh my god! From that day on, their family lived happily ever after. As you can see, the people of China that have the atmosphere of the new year as exciting and wonderful. You may not believe it. This bunny is small, but his feet are not just as his size. Just a month ago, he was a bunny and he looked like this. He was after a person named Wang Kai, the Dragon Prince of China. So he accidentally got lost in Wally Valley, where the animal lover Fairy Samira lived. Not animal, not people from this land? Talk! What are you up to, unauthorized intruder? No, 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 no! I'm not a bad guy! <coughs> you drop it first, then I'll tell the story! <coughs> In a faraway land called China, <coughs> there were two dragon brothers, Wang Kai and the Mian Wu Fan. They are the strongest animals in history, always hmm. rivaling to become the head. With a desire to become stronger, Wang Kai did one thing that had unintended consequences. He released the legendary evil monster, the bunny. Noticing the bad thing was coming after the bunny had been released, Wang Kai hurried back to the village. Everywhere he saw was covered in destruction and grievous harm. Distracted by the crime, Wang Kai was severely injured by the bunny. He had to flee, to stray to a faraway land, and then meet, uh, um, a beautiful fairy? So, are you that dumb dragon? Uh, can't you pay attention to the point that the beautiful fairy will save the poor dragon? Alright, as long as you get fully healed, you have to help me fly out of this land. <laughs> <laughs> Except the fact that Tuft Samira liked talking bitter words, it was easy to live in Wally Valley. There is only one matter that, the torment and homesickness still made Wang Kai felt extremely miserable. Uh, I just wanted to go back to avenge and protect the people. Why am I scared and afraid of facing it? I am the one who caused the chaos. Everyone made stupid mistakes. The important thing is to find a way to fix them. If you give up now, you'll still be remembered as a dumb dragon for 10,000 years from now. Meanwhile, taking the atonement feats will change the history. Oh, you're right. Ooh. But I'm not a dumb dragon, please. <gasps> Thanks to the advice, Wang Kai hmm. decided to return to China with Samira's help. He learned about the features of the bunny. They created a ring of fire that could conquer the monster. On the day he fully recovered, Wang Kai made his words to turn into a mighty dragon. Flew Samira over the valley to return to his homeland. You are not alone. I lost my wings by my foolishness. However, I never give up the hope of once again flying in the blue sky as I do now. Everything was just stayed the same when he left. When Wang Kai came back, that hit Samira and Wang Kai in the eyes was a deserted village, with no breath of life left. Wang Kai, you returned? Wu Fang, where is everybody? The villagers are safe. I've had them hidden temporarily. At this moment, 
both of them decided to skip the animus and personal benefits to cooperate and subdue the bunny monster. Samira made many delicious dishes whose fragrance spread all the corners to attract the bunny monster. Their purpose was to put the fire ring containing Wang Kai's power on the monster's neck to subdue it. As expected, the glutinous bunny monster soon appeared. As planned, if no order is given, they all held their breath and watched her successfully wear the fire ring on the bunny. <laughs> Unlike the angry and ferocious look, the giant bunny then suddenly came flattering Ooh. Samira. <gasps> Here! This is a bell that can control the ring of fire. Give it back to you. But the man who actually got the bell was Wu Fan, not Wang Kai. Well, the place down. Surprise! It turns out that all of this hmm. is a bad guy's play. The bunny monster was part of his creation. And the story of the power of the monster has only one purpose was to make Wang Kai the villain in the eyes of the kingdom. According to my original plan, the monster will destroy the village and then I will appear as a savior and get their trust. What he did not expect was that the bunny did not listen to him and ran away. As there is no other way, Wu Fan pretended to be the monster, causing bunnyastrophe all over the region. Then he chased after the monster and Wang Kai to root out the threat, but he lost track of both. He temporarily evacuated the villagers, waited in the village because he knew his brother too well. Wang Kai would definitely return. I should have eliminated you when you came back here, but that's alright. At least it's worth to get my missing part back. However, he was disappointed. No matter how many times he took the bell, the bunny still did not listen to him. What? Why? Surprise? From the very beginning, I've already realized that the village destroyer cannot be him. The necklace he's wearing is fake, of course. You didn't know I'd secretly made one before. Great. The bunny only obeys because of my ingenious care talent. And this thing? Right, son? Dare to play me around? <laughs> you seem tired of living. Following the owner's command, the bunny immediately rushed forward. But the power of a clone is not able to fight against the original. <laughs> what? But the wound on the bunny is... <gasps> yes, they happened exactly to Wu Fan. Wang Kai wanted to use that weakness to take Wu Fan down immediately, but he was stopped by Samira. The wicked one is Wu Fan! The bunny is innocent! <laughs> Wang Kai turned into a dragon, focusing on taking down the real enemy who warned him as well as the people of the village. Because he had been injured and recently and spent a lot of effort on making the ring, Wang Kai was quickly taken down by Wu Fan. Now, be a good boy and come back to me, bunny! However, the bunny didn't listen that easily. He was very intelligent, knowing that his weakness is a terrible fire that dragons have left in battle. Just like that, the combination of fire and electricity created an explosion. That's why the Nian suffered harm, was afraid, hurried to flee. After the explosion, the bunny turned into a tiny, weak bunny in Samira's arms. When the people of the village heard the loud explosion, they returned and gradually discovered the truth. His breath is weak! At Wally Valley, I have herbs that can save him! He's our hero! Come on, time is running out! I'll take you home! How about Nian? While you're not here, don't you afraid he'll come back for revenge? Don't worry, if he comes back, you just need to light up some firecrackers to remind him of the explosion. Certainly, Nian will not dare to come any closer. <laughs> With Samira's loving treatment in Wally Valley, 
The bunny quickly recovered his health. My power is not enough. He will forever be in this little form without his power. No, look, this may be his happiest moment. I don't know if that line of firecrackers really works or not. So we come back about the test, right? We? Yes! Riding the dragon was a bit drunk but also quite a great experience. Bunny also seems to miss home. <laughs> <gasps> this time back to China. The atmosphere is completely different from the previous time. To commemorate the feat of the bunny, the people revered him to become an animal designation of the year, drawing bunnies on red cloths, hanging all over the house. Also make delicious dishes that are delicious to celebrate. In the last hour of the day, the people set fire to rebel Nian's plot to return. The loud, cheerful firecrackers began a new year, a beautiful new period for the people of China. I have to thank the little bunny myself. With him, it doesn't seem like I hate taking care of my animals anymore. Yes, fate can be harsh, but it's important that we respond, that we adapt. It's just like you can't fly, but I can still be your wings. Eh? What? I can't hear you! I said, Happy New Year! Happy New Year! In a state of utter chaos, the princess and people were trying to escape the dark magic of the devil. Unless they hurried, they would be cursed and turned into a tome. Luna, I'm sorry. I will avenge your sacrifice. So how did she defeat the devil? Let's start the story. In the prosperous kingdom of Egypt, there was a good king. He always loved his wife and the people. And luckily, on the day his wife was about to give birth to her first child, the solar eclipse took place. This made him worried because there was an ancient prophecy about an evil omen that handed down from generation to generation. The omen said that if the royal family gave birth to any girl on the eclipse day, it would have a cursed tattoo on her body. Moreover, the child would be the dark devil's henchman and release her from the hidden tomb at the age of 18. And it worked when the king's wife gave birth to a daughter who had the same tattoo as the prophecy. Then, she passed away because of difficult birth. <laughs> However, he took pity on his little child and wife, so he decided to hide this trouble and not tell anyone, including his daughter. Mm -hmm. As time passed, the little princess, Jamila, now grew up and was always taught rigorously swordsmanship, <sighs> knowledges, huh? by the king. He also admonished her daughter not to reveal hmm. the tattoo on her body. Hmm. Because it is a defect, showing imperfection, nobility in the royal family. So it should be avoided for everyone to know. In particular, he never allowed her to go to the forbidden tomb and told her it was dangerous. Sometimes, she heard the servant said that she had caused the death of her mother, so the king treated her like that. Then Jamila felt sad and distant from her father. Finally, Jamila's 18th birthday was going to come. This was also a very busy time for the king to welcome a royal family from neighboring country to visit. Although the king could not be close to his daughter at this time, he still kept her under surveillance. Even when Jamila made the acquaintance of the daughter of the royal family, the guards didn't give her own time to play. Recently, Jamila has been having nightmares about a scary figure around her, so she felt even more tired. On Jamila's birthday, the sky was suddenly dark. It made everyone panic, quickly cleaned up everything. Jamila and Luna were also trying to take shelter. Suddenly, a black crow plunged and stole Jamila's precious necklace. When the two girls were chasing the crow, they found out they had arrived at the forbidden tomb. Jamila decided to drag her friend away because she was worried that this was a dangerous place as her father said before. I think this place is as normal as any other place in the palace. Besides, I want to see if there's anything terrifying about this place that the king said. But my father told me, Jamila, you're so boring. You always listen to your father so you was forever controlled by the king and don't have any freedom of your own. 
After hearing the excitement from Luna, plus the curiosity to know what the secret of this place was, Jamila finally decided to go near the Forbidden Tomb and try to find the answer behind it. Welcome to the Forbidden Tomb to release me like the prophecy, little princess. <gasps> Whose voice is that? When Jamila wasn't understanding what happened, a lightning stroke on the Forbidden Tomb. It revealed a strange coffin with a red gaze, which was being sealed with magical lotus flowers on it. Jamila hurriedly tried to get Luna out of there, but suddenly, she heard a strange voice. Come here, little princess. Help me to pluck the lotus of life the symbol of life and light, which is controlling my dark magic to seal me up now. When the king saw the light at the Forbidden Temple, he and the soldiers rushed to the place. However, it was too late, and the devil was erased. <gasps> Jamila! Dad, I have seemed to have accidentally released the Dark Devil, the Nightmare of Egypt. That's right, little princess. Dismissed, the dark evil created the solar eclipse to restore her dark power. <gasps> After 18 years since the solar eclipse, I had gradually recovered my magic and planned to involve Jamila to lift the curse today. When the time came and felt that you were not near your daughter, I seduced the little princess bearing the curse tattoo to help me escape from this place as prophecy. <laughs> Dread, I can't forgive you for using me. <gasps> Jamila! <laughs> Stupid. Now even the Lotus of Life can't seal me. The Dark Devil didn't expect the Lotus of Life still had some light left. Then, when she enjoyed picking it up, it burned her hands. Jamila, you and Luna hurriedly find the Lotus of Life before the solar eclipse is completed. It's the only way to control the Devil. But I want to stay and fight with you to atone. Before Jamila could say anything else, the Dark Devil continued to attack them. The King and his soldiers tried to hold the Dark Devil back to give Jamila a chance to leave for safety. Leave quickly, Jamila. If you want to atone, find the Lotus of Life. Come on, Jamila! Then Jamila sadly left with Luna. Until the devil completely defeated her father and the soldiers, Jamila was nowhere to be found. The Dark Devil was angry, but because the magic has not fully recovered, she can only use the dark power to surround the palace and turn people into stones. Luckily, Jamila escaped from the palace at the time, but she was hurt to see the scene. I must find the Lotus of Life to rescue everyone! However, even though Jamila went looking for the Lotus of Life in the direction of the Devil's Throw, she still did not find out. During the search for the Lotus of Life, the Dark Devil also gradually restored her magic. Then, she expanded her power to the whole kingdom and sent her henchmen to hunt Jamila. Fortunately, Jamila used the knowledge the King had taught her before to avoid the Dark Devil's henchmen. Even more, she mastered what she had learned and equipped herself with many other survival skills. Sometimes, Jamila also thought of her mistakes and told herself to become stronger in order to avenge. Although my father was always strict with me before, he was always ready to protect me at all times. Therefore, this time, I must also try to take responsibility and find the Lotus of Life to defeat the Dark Devil. While Jamila was pensive, she suddenly found out the shadow of small snake that was holding a shimmering lotus. There is the Lotus of Life. I have to chase that snake quickly to find that treasure. Jamila followed the trail and found the only shining Lotus of Life in the Lotus Lagoon. She hurriedly tried to touch it, but a giant snake suddenly appeared. Who let you touch my Lotus House and also the source of my strength? This is the Lotus of Life that I have been searching for all this time to fight the Dark Devil. I didn't expect it to be your place, so you can leave it to me. No! If I give it to you, I have neither the shelter nor the strength that I am. The thing is, the entire magic of the Devil is recovering almost. So even if you keep the Lotus beside you, then everything around you has been destroyed by the Devil. Yeah, but I will not be affected at all if I keep the Lotus beside me. 
but your family outside will still be affected by the power of the Dark Devil and cannot survive for long. Therefore, please understand and help me. The giant snake oh. seemed logical, returned mm. to its true form, and accepted to give the Lotus of Life to Jamila. As it turned out, the little snake had absorbed part of the power of the Lotus of Life, so it could create a giant illusion to repel those who approached the flower. Then, when Jamila touched the lotus, it suddenly blossomed and healed her earlier wounds. And then, Jamila and the snake hurried back to the kingdom and stealthily broke into the palace to find the Dark Devil. When she realized the target, she intended to sneak the lotus into the Dark Devil so that she would be wounded and knocked down by the light of the lotus. However, the Dark Devil foreseen Jamila would come back. So, she was deliberately turned out when Jamila's father distracted her. Jamila startledly threw the flower off and was arrested. Unexpectedly, after days of searching, the little princess came back here to get herself captured. Moreover, the process of the solar eclipse is almost complete and I will gradually fully restore the magic. So no matter how the little princess tries to stop me, this kingdom will be mine soon. <laughs> Even so, I cannot easy to give up and I am sure there will be something enormous that has superior light power to defeat you. Jamila tried to take a life lotus petal that had been cut off before to control the Dark Devil. Nevertheless, the Dark Devil could not be harmed by a little power. Huh? Nice try, little princess. Your petal just only burned my hand yet, so you can't beat me! <laughs> However, the devil didn't expect that a giant snake would appear behind and bounce towards her. It turned out that before coming here, Jamila had made more plans in case the worst happened to deal with the dark devil and the little snake. So when Jamila was under arrest, she silently directed and emphasized the word enormous to imply to the snake that it would swallow the Lotus of Life and become giant. Ah! Uh, that's impossible! I can't be destroyed like that! No! <sighs> Don't try to get out of here! The Dark Devil, I'll defeat you by the power of the Eternal Light! After that, Jamila struck a final blow and the giant snake radiated powerful light power that caused the devil to gradually dissipate. Jamila and the giant snake also broke the curse and rescued everyone from the Dark Devil's dominion. Finally, Jamila received the power of light from the Lotus of Life and was determined to become a talented queen with the wish of rebuilding a prosperous Egypt in the future. Once upon a time, deep inside the old forest, there lived a kind of cute elf. <laughs> <laughs> However, in contrast with that appearance, they were really cunning and dangerous. They were dark elves who always tried by all means to suck people's life spirit to enhance their strength. Because of their rapid growth, they messed up everywhere. <laughs> Then, humans determined to study the Dark Elves and practice to eliminate them. First, the hunters used to eliminate Dark Elves as soon as they caught them. But later, they found out that the Dark Elves had an interesting instinct. Then, they took advantage of that and sold them to the rich people which had weird hobbies. <laughs> Although hunters could earn much money by that job, it's really dangerous. Many hunters had to quit their job. <laughs> Only Archibald was still persistent with it. Because he held a grudge against the Dark Elves, which took his father's life away. Where am huh? I? <laughs> you woke up? Earlier, I saw you were injured and lying in the middle of the forest, so I brought you back here. Really? So thank you for helping me. <laughs> but what were you doing out there alone? I live in the village on the other side of the mountain. Because of the drought, 
so some other people and I had to move to another place. <sighs> Unfortunately, while crossing the old forest, we were attacked by the Dark Elves, and I lost everyone there. Uh, that was it. If you don't mind, just stay here for a few days, wait for the winter <laughs> cover, then you can leave. Thank you so much. I'm really grateful to you. <laughs> At that moment, Behira looked around the house and saw a lot of dark elves, which were detained. She was a little bit scared. Huh? <laughs> uh, don't worry, I sealed them. They won't be able to harm you. Don't you see that hmm? they are so poor? In fact, they can live without eating anything. They attack people just to enhance their strength. I'm giving them away, instead of eliminating them. It's too benevolent for them. You seem to really hate the Dark Elf. Hmm. <sighs> because they took my family away. <sighs> you might be hungry. Let me prepare something for you. <laughs> After talking, Behira knew that he lived here alone, because everyone was really scared of Dark Elves. Thus, Behira immediately wanted to do something to repay Archibald. Oh. When coming back, Archibald could see the house was lighted. The tasty food smell was spread everywhere. He suddenly felt really good. Time passed by peacefully, they gradually fell in love with each other. When their love was ripe, Archibald planned to propose to her. However, he suddenly saw Behira was sneakily doing something beside the jars which detained the Dark Elves. But he still pretended as he had seen nothing. Suspecting that Behira had hidden him something, he thought about the way to find it out. The next day, he left his house as usual. But he came back as he went halfway. Then, Archibald caught Behira when she was talking with a Dark Elf. Turned out you were the one who released them. Why did you do that? Please, let me explain. Suddenly, that dark spirit immediately attacked Archibald when it saw him. While fighting back, Archibald unintentionally dropped a glass jar on the ground. So the elves escaped more and more and they all attacked him. Being outnumbered, Archibald couldn't fight and resist. At that moment, Behira also had to help him. Who are you? Really? I'm actually a dark elf. So why couldn't I feel the fish smell of dark elf from your body? Because I enhance my strength by practicing every day, not by sucking people's life spirit. With a strong attack from other dark elves, Behiba quickly got exhausted. The two seemed to resign themselves to their fate. Then, a strange woman suddenly appeared. Right after seeing her, the Dark Elves immediately ran away in fright. Huh? My queen, thanks for your help. You are the queen? Why do you want to help me? What are the two of you plotting? We just wanted to prevent the war between human and Dark Elf. The time when you found me in the forest, I was actually preventing other Dark Elves from harming human. Please believe me, if I wanted to harm you, these days I would have lots of chances to do it. But Dark Elves harmed my father! I'm really sorry for that. Right at that moment, Archibald realized that the necklace of the Queen looked exactly like this. Huh? Where did you get this necklace? Maybe it's the time for me to tell you the truth. Turned out, she was Archibald's mother. In the past, she fell in love with a normal person and gave birth to Archibald. But their love was strongly opposed by both sides. So she had to leave Archibald to her husband and went back to the deep forest. Time went by, for the love with his wife, Archibald's father decided to go find her. 
but unfortunately, he was haunted by other dark elves on the way finding her. After knowing everything, Archibald decided to give up hunting dark elves. Instead of that, together with Bahira, he will prevent the fights between human and dark elves. Mm.